Hello and welcome everyone. It is Thursday, March 1st, 2018. Just a quick update video to my video I put out yesterday, just covering off some info about a couple books I uh, showed briefly in my um, video, but I just kind of showed them and then moved on. Uh, first one is Spawn 283, and I have to give a shout out to Comic Book Villain for this info. I was watching his video this morning, and I showed the regular cover on the left here and the black and white on the right in my video, and I just, you know, I said I'm buying Spawn. It's on my pull list and you know whatnot and then I moved on to my next uh, comic and it, I was watching his video this morning he pointed out that the cover is a Francesco Matina cover I don't know if, I can, if that's in focus there so yeah Francesco Matina if you don't know is uh, he's a great artist he does a lot of the limited variant covers for these limited run uh, books and stuff so that is a sweet cover and the spawn print runs for the last few months are under 20,000. They're all around 19,000. So this one's probably in that range, 19,000 ish. Uh, so that's a good one to get. Price on these is what I was looking at today. You're looking between 20 and 30 dollars for the pair of them. Some people are asking 30 bucks per book. So if you happen to be in your shop and you find those on the shelf and you can get them for cover price, pick them up. Uh, it is a sweet, sweet cover as you can see. Um, and like I say, he's a really, uh, really good artist to sought after. And as far as Spawn goes, uh, I put him on my pull list because 282 is the first appearance of that uh, character. I think it's Black Mirror. And being that uh, McFarlane started his run on Spider-Man at 298, um, which was the whole Venom storyline, as you're all well aware, and 300 was the big Venom reveal, first full appearance. That is that holds a pretty big uh, spot with McFarlane. I, I watched an interview with him a couple months ago, and um, knowing McFarlane, something special is probably going to be coming with 300. Just a hunch. I can't guarantee anything, but I'd recommend you put that one on your pull list if it's not. Uh, if you don't want to go all the way through, that's fine. But maybe try and get 300 when it comes out. The only thing is, uh, like this one, because it's on my pull list and I got a few copies of it, you know, the price has jumped way up, so it's a good one to have. Uh, next one I want to talk about is $7.94. Um, I showed this in my video as well. That is sold out um, first day it came out pretty much everywhere. Most, some shops might still have a couple copies. If you can get that one, get it because the price on the... I didn't expect the price. So I grabbed like three copies of this, but I didn't expect much from it. And the price on those has jumped up to like 20 bucks per. So um, that's what people are asking, whether people are buying that. I don't know, but it's a good one to get. And they've already announced that it's going to a third printing. So there is going to be a third printing on that one. So if you can get your hands on that one again for cover price, get it. Uh, even if you have a copy and you see one sitting there, grab it because it's a good one to get. And I forgot to talk about a couple comics in the background because I got some news about them. Uh, first one I'm going to talk about is um, New Mutants 100. That is, um, there's three printings of this. This is the first print with the blue background. The second and third printings have a white background. And the reason this one's important is that is the first full appearance of the X-Force team. And they just announced in the last little while that the X-Force movie is a go. And they're starting to do filming on that um, this fall. So that's a really good one to get. You can still pick it up pretty cheap. But I highly recommend you look for that one. You can probably find that in the bins. Or uh, pretty reasonable anyway. It should be not much more than 10 bucks anyway. So see if you can find that one. And I mentioned that... Um, uh, oh shit, Rag718 had showed the um, that video with the sketch variant of Iron Spider and I forgot to talk about it. So the first full appearance of the Iron Spider suit in Spider-Man is 529, which is this one here. And the Iron Spider suit is going to be in the new uh, Avengers movie coming up in a few months. So that is a book you're going to want to get. They've showed... I watched a video where, um, I can't remember who put it out, I think it was Comic Book Cast, and they showed the toy line coming out for the new Avengers movie, and on the back of the package it shows Spider-Man with the Iron Spider suit, with the Iron Claws and everything, so that's another book you should try and get if you don't have it, 529, because once the movie comes out, that one's going to jump up as well, so anyways, just want to throw that out there, some quick info, a couple books to look for, um, New Mutants 100, first print, uh, Spider-Man 529 and uh, try and pick up this 794 second print and spawn 283 if you can. That's it. Take care. Bye.